We humbly ask God to remove our shortcomings. Giving up control might be difficult for us. When you're ready for God to remove our shortcomings, we may still want to control how he does it. We're so used to calling the shots that we'll ask for God's help as long as it's on our terms. We may even demand changes to happen on our timetable in order we feel ready to give them up. God doesn't work that way. That's why humility is such an important part of the step. God told Jeremiah to go to the potter's shop and learn a lesson. Jeremiah said, I did as he told me and found the potter working at his wheel, but the jar he was working on didn't work out as he had hoped. So he squashed the jar into a lump of clay and started again. And the Lord gave me this message. Can I not do to you what this potter has done to this clay? As the clay is in the potter's hands, so you are in my hand. God told Isaiah, does the clay pot ever argue with its maker? Does the clay dispute with the one who shapes it, saying, stop, you're doing it wrong? Does the clay pot exclaim, how clumsy can you be? When we put our life in God's hands, he will shape us as God sees fit. It is our humility that allows us to accept the fact that he is creator. Our new life may be similar to the one we left behind or entirely different. God is the master craftsman. Whatever he does, we can trust that he will recreate our life beautifully once we get out of the way.